the three-moment equation for the analysis of continuous beams with support settlements. In lecture SA60, we obtained two versions of the three-moment equation for analyzing continuous beams without support settlements. These equations are, given a beam, we can use either equation to determine the moments at the supports. Please review lecture SA60 for an explanation for each equation and a description of its parameters. As was demonstrated in the previous lecture, we apply one of these equations to a given beam in order to determine the internal bending moments at the supports. Once these moments are determined, we can then use the static equilibrium equations to calculate the remaining unknown member forces and support reactions. In this lecture, we expand this formulation to include support settlements. Consider two consecutive spans resting on three supports in a continuous beam. Suppose each support undergoes a small amount of vertical displacement. Let delta A, delta B, and delta C denote the displacements. We are going to use the slope deflection formulation in order to account for these displacements in the three moment equation. So let's refer to the difference between delta A and delta B as delta BA and use delta CB to refer to the difference between delta B and delta C. Therefore, we can write. We start the derivation by writing the slope deflection equations for each beam segment. If you are not familiar with the slope deflection method, please review lectures SA27 through SA33. For member AB, the slope deflection equations are where theta A and theta B are slopes at A and B, and delta BA is the differential vertical displacement of the segment. FEM AB and FEM BA are the fixed end moments at A and B due to the applied load. For example, in the case of a uniformly distributed load, these moments are WL squared over 12, where W is the load magnitude and L is the length of the segment. We can write a similar pair of equations for segment BC. As in segment AB, here, theta B and theta C are the end rotations. Delta CB is the relative vertical displacement between the endpoints of the segment and FEMBC and FEMCB are fixed end moments. Note that the member end moments and rotations are assumed to be positive when acting in the counterclockwise direction. Also, the member end relative vertical displacement is considered positive when it is induced by a counterclockwise member rotation. For the three moment equation, we need to label the internal moments at A, B, and C as MA, MB, and MC, respectively. These moments are shown in the directions that cause each beam segment to bend concave up. But in the slope deflection method, the member end moments are shown in the counterclockwise direction. Therefore, we need to relate these moments to these moments. Comparing the two diagrams, we can write M AB equals negative MA, MBA equals MB, MBC equals negative MB, and MCB equals MC. Therefore, the joint equilibrium equations are Substituting the slope deflection equations in the equilibrium equations, we get. Now we can solve these equations for the slopes at A, B, and C. See the accompanying PDF file for the mathematical expression for each calculated slope. For the sake of brevity, these equations are not shown here. If we substitute the slope expressions in the slope deflection equations, we get. Since MBA equals MB, the second equation can be written as 
Rearranging the terms of this equation, we get the generalized form of the three-moment equation. Note how the equation takes into account the support settlements at A, B, and C. Now let's see how we can use this equation to analyze continuous beams with support settlements. Consider a two-span beam subjected to a concentrated load and a distributed load. Suppose the support at B has settled by 10 millimeters. The beam has a constant, EI. We wish to determine the effect of the support settlement on the beam's reaction forces. Keep in mind that here we are not asked to calculate the support reactions due to the applied loads and settlement. Rather, we are asked to determine the reaction forces due to the settlement alone. The three-moment equation for this beam involves MA, MB, and MC. Here is the generalized form of the equation. We know the moment at pin A is zero. So is the moment at roller C. And since we are only considering the support settlement, the fixed end moments are zero as well. Therefore, the three-moment equation simplifies to To calculate delta CB and delta BA, we need to examine each beam segment separately. In segment AB, the downward settlement of the support at B causes the segment to rotate clockwise. This corresponds to a negative delta. Therefore, delta BA is equal to negative 10 millimeters, or negative 0.01 meter. The same support settlement, however, makes segment BC rotate counterclockwise, which means delta CB is positive. It equals 0.01 meter. Substituting these values, along with the values for E and I in the simplified three-moment equation, and solving for MB, we get Therefore, MB equals 6 kilonewton meters. This is the bending moment induced at B by the support settlement. Knowing MB, we can determine the member end shear forces using the static equilibrium equations. From segment AB, we get... From segment BC, we have... Therefore, the support reaction forces caused by the settlement at B are... We are going to wrap up this lecture with another example. This two-span beam is fixed at the left end and rests on two roller supports at B and C. The beam, carrying a uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter, has settled at B and C. The downward settlement at B is 10 mm, while at C the settlement is 4 mm. We wish to determine the support reactions due to the load and settlements. The beam is assumed to have a constant, EI. We start by replacing the fixed end of the beam at A with a fictitious beam segment having an infinite rigidity, as shown here. Note the non-zero moments at the supports. They are labeled MA and MB. Since the revised beam has three spans, we need to write two three-moment equations. We need one equation for the first two spans and another equation for the last two spans. Here is the general form of the three-moment equation for the first two spans. Note that the relative vertical displacement for the left segment is zero. For the right segment, the relative displacement is negative 0.01 meter. Since the moment of inertia for the left beam segment is infinity, this term vanishes. So does this term. Also, since there is no relative vertical displacement in the left segment, this term is zero. Furthermore, since neither segment is subjected to any external loads, the fixed end moment terms are zero. 
Knowing E, I, and delta B A, the three moment equation simplifies to or Now let's write the three moment equation for the next two spans. Here is the general form of the equation. The relative vertical displacements for the two beam segments are Also, while the fixed end moments for the left beam segment are zero, for the right segment they are equal to W L squared over 12, or 9 kilonewton meters. Therefore, we can simplify the three moment equation like this. Or, solving the two three moment equations simultaneously, we can determine MA and MB. They are, these known moment values turn the beam into a determinate one. Therefore, we can use the static equilibrium equations to calculate the member end shear forces and support reactions. The resulting reaction forces due to the applied load and the settlements at B and C are 